You've no doubt heard about DNA. DNA certainly knows about you. It's the name given to the molecules that carry the genetic instructions that determine how every living organ will look and function, including you. It looks like this, the famous double helix. In 1953, using x-rays by Rosalind Franklin, Francis Crick and James Watson constructed a model of DNA. They reckoned that if the two strands split apart from one another, each strand would provide a template for the formation of two new identical strands. This theory and subsequent research led to the explanation of how genetic information is inherited from generation to generation, which in turn helps explain why, who, and what we are. The study of our genes continues apace, but we have a long way to go. It's now been over a decade and a half since we launched the Human Genome Project, and we're still figuring out what collecting and decoding genetic material means about specific diseases. To find out more, I met with Professor Sir John Byrne, a world-renowned medical geneticist. Virtually everywhere you turn in medicine, pretty soon genomics will become a core part of its practice uh, because understanding either the organism, the person, or the organism, the infectious agent, will become standard of care. Uh, and when we reach that point, the word genomics could almost disappear. It just becomes medicine. It, it's everywhere. People understand that uh, if they've got an illness, uh, that it makes sense to understand what's different about them in addition to what is their normal makeup and what makes them different from other people. So they can see the benefit of the doctor having a comprehensive understanding of their illness and their genetic makeup. Um, and in one sense, they see that as a positive thing because we get stories every day of new diseases discovered, new drugs developed for particular cancers with particular genetic problems. On the other hand, we get WannaCry, we get WikiLeaks, we get constant barrage of worry about data breaches. And so people, on, in, almost in the same breath, can oscillate between enthusiasm at understanding all of this disease and all this data and fear that that data will fall into the wrong hands and be used against them. So obviously today we can now sequence genomes, we can identify mutations, but what's next? I think that the, the next big area of development is going to be in relation to cancer in the sense that people now realise that only by taking the cancer apart at a molecular level will you understand fully how to manage it, treat it and cure it. Uh, and in fact, that will be probably where most people will benefit from genomics without even knowing that they have, because it will just be part of the routine evaluation of cancer. Hi, I'm Arjun Kapoor, and thanks for watching The Edge. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes, and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Live channel right here at the bottom of the screen.